Hey, it's Beaming Toys here, and I'm back here again with more Alan Wake 2. Hopefully, you guys, enjoy your day, night, evening. We're going to continue over where we left off. And something I didn't realize is why are they using all computer monitors? Also, Doggy. Who's a good boy? All right. I think I found the password. If I remember right... It was seven uh, zero uh, eight two three. Let's go. And the doors, doors. Are open. Media. Oh. Pardon me, I do not need to remind you that Toe and Odin would be ideal candidates for the cold police. Try harder to equip them. <laughs> your door, your door and knob. Okay. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. <coughs> Need to get to him. He's seeing something. Yeah, Tor, smash everything. Jeez, I already forgot where I was. Doorknob. Okay, what's the criteria? Oh, that's where I need to go. Dining area. Oh, that's so locked. Dutch, darn it. This place. Shit! What the fuck? Whoa. Where'd he go? Oh, I see you, little bastard. You don't. You die. Oh. Yeah, enjoy that flare, you piece of shit. Do the amount of damage I did to this fucker. Holy shit. I need to catch up with Tor. I need some ammo, that's what I need. Do any vending machine have ammo? You sack of shit, I swear. Who had it coming? Reload that. Fully loaded. Thank you.
Nothing else in the kitchen. All right. I'll take the extra bullets. I think I'll close this. Guess not. Go with him, what are you doing? Damn. Jesus Christ. Where the fuck did that came from? Inside here, right? Alright. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? She's delusional. Hmm. All right. Guess we have to uh, use a little mind trick on this brat. All right, Rose. Well, Stop lying. Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? Why the, the fuck you lying? Fan number one fan. The hero will say, "Wake has returned." We're all characters in his story. G Wiz. I'm not his fucking character, but I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Who knows? Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget. Here's the page Wake told me to give you. What? Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Jesus, she's crazy. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Oh, the record. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya. 
And to you. Oh my god. Torres my like mother name is Freya. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. All right. Okay, right, we already read this one, so we don't need that. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Think, Saga. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Probably. Everything's just a mess here. Uh, this will go. Nope. Email about the Colts. Uh, all symbols. Nope. Oh. Maybe here because we're missing one. Nope. Hmm. Probably here? No? What about this one? I'll just continue hitting one until I get all of them, I swear. You sure that that one doesn't go there? Okay, that one goes there. Doesn't make sense. No, okay, uh. No. <laughs> okay. Cold began. Let's see, oh God. Hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. It's kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. It's addressed to someone. Are these done? was involved uh, it should be like this there we go hmm. there we go much better zoom out because I can see shit uh doesn't look right there we go. Can't open this with my bare hands. All right, I guess we go back inside. She said the museum. So into the museum we go. That was like the third floor, right? Uh, Auntie wants to talk. 
It's a museum. First floor, second floor. Is this a basement? Interesting. Yep, second floor. All right, second floor it is. All right, it's a page, it's a manuscript. Read it, gosh darn it. Veneration. stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the All-Father. <laughs> he smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. That's a lot. <coughs> Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing. Yeah, you read this one. All right, second floor it is. In a moment, till then, I want to talk to. Uh... Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man. And he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> All right, thank you for that. Don't mind me. Uh, I'm just gonna take some stuff from from you. What did I say? Slow society. Is it supposed to be a picture of him? I don't want to be jump scared again, so. Ten lights. Son of a bitch. Fox no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. Uh. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. Well, thank you, Ati. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Fucking yeah, of course. Let me check on Odin. I don't think they changed. Okay. It's the basement we go. How is it to go to the basement? I have to go upstairs. Don't like that noise. What? Is this the basement? Alright, uh, where's the basement? Still in a single floor. All right, basement time. Yeah, no, thank you. I heard them. 
I, I don't see them. Um. Oh, what the fuck? Whoa. Oh, you son of a bitch. Dude, there's three of them. I am not taking this fight. Heck no. the basement be though negative one yeah or is that in the manor it's not in the world it's, can't be in the wilderness center right I saw a dead body there. That wasn't me. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I need to get the power back on. Yeah, you think? Key fob's no good without power. Can I use one of those shields? This is a tie corridor. Mm, don't like that. Is that a manuscript? I sort of fuck. I'm guessing that's management. Manuscript time. We used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink, got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. The fuck? PTSD. Uh huh. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. 
The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The <laughs> Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every Vampires. Game, the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. That doesn't help this situation, does it, huh? Oh, you son of a bitch. Look, save that. Fuse is blown. Maybe there are spares nearby. See, I don't like those noises. That's a dead end. I do not enjoy it. Another manuscript. Oh, well, guys, if you're enjoying this, remember to leave a like. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. This is in Allen. Their endless gossip. Their nose picking, chewing food this is their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Mm -hmm. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his hair, <coughs> made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them the down. The fuck? Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. The fuck was that? Hey, that's Barry, though. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. Well, the sound effects. Great. What the fuck? How's it saying? We knew filmmaker established artist immune in by falls. Of course he did. Doesn't say it here though, for that lock. See. Can't really turn this on at this point. Power's off. Car. Yeah, no shit. Dude, there's so many manuscripts here. Am I safe here? Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. What the fuck? Was that everything? Cynthia no, it wasn't. Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, <coughs> afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, 
My lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. Well, that was, uh... That was something, all right. I have to be careful with the water. Codis. Oh. So you're gonna make me curse in Spanish, I swear. 273, right? 273, okay. Two seven three. Son of a bitch, I'm ready. That's a fuse. We're gonna fight for this now. I'm going this way, I'm not opening that door. those oh that could have been useful a few minutes ago I can't force it open maybe that's a good thing I didn't do that. We'll search for this for now. There. Power's back on. Oh, thank God. Why not to this place, huh? Why would it be? What about we don't, huh? Ever think of that? And so there I go. Dodging and weaving. I'm not scared. You are. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. What the hell is going on? Yo, Tonjo. What the fuck? The cult?
Oh, that was something. Alright, is there anything else here? Right, I guess I can open that. That was weird. Get me the fuck out of here. Well, I already read that. Piece of shit. that door gladly take that and a flare say less that's it don't touch two Excuse me. You better say that. Oh. Oh man. Isn't that stressful? Holy shit. All right. Oh, you creepy bastards. Who's outside? Oh, they're in all, they're all in the light. You all should stay out here a while until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? Oh my god. A few. Artie, Gil, Cynthia. If oh. they aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. My god, lady, you like your schedules, huh? Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Since what is that? gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. 
very informative. Thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. I love that. Uh, we'd be happy to have you on the show any time, me and my listeners. Oh, wait, they're safe. That's good. It sure is a beautiful night. Okay. Nice and clear. <laughs> Oh, he's still knocked down. The sort of fuck. I'm gonna close this door for you, man. That's a, uh, that's a lot of dark stuff there. Wheeler set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. He used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor and returned to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. The contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. <laughs> they took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leaks started appearing. You know, I'm sorry you haven't been speaking a lot in this video. It's just a lot of been happening. Pizza. I could go for a slice, I'm not gonna lie. It's like 12 in the morning. It's after midnight when I'm recording this. Oh man. I know this place had a, had a save point. Where is it? One of Is it Norman's room? Where's the one of Inters at? Oh, we're here, that's for sure. Oh, and I went to my butt. I'm in the room, right? Is it somewhere here? Oh, I'm so confused. Maybe I already checked it. Oh, time for her goddamn. Bitch. It's a manuscript Adele? there. Was Cynthia into civil engineering? That's the damn from the first game. Oh, buddy. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Is it this one? Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Uh -oh. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. The jealous type, huh? Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, 
Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. Ooh. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No. Better. She sank into dark water. The fuck? Into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Jesus. What a psychopath. The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I went down to the business and she got the lies. I didn't tell Blom to do it. He's too slow, but it's getting harder and harder for me to wish them. All right. Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, over here. Um, Cynthia, Cynthia. Oh, there you go. What else? What else can we find in this godforsaken place? Chocolates. Tor's For my romantic, huh? <laughs> uh, of course he is. God damn it, Thor. Still for later. Fucking swear to her. What is this? A That's power there. Stationed. Yep. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. Oh, was she the uh was Cynthia yeah. using it for protection? Yes, she was. Did she know about the dark presence? Yes, she did. I remember this. It's all coming back to I me. I feel like I'm missing some context here. Play the first game. Like I did beforehand. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. It's kind of funny uh, seeing stills from the... I'm guessing that's from the HD remake. Is that everything from here? So it's sort of God. Something else jumps... Jesus Christ, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Oh, I guess we're going this way now, huh? Guess not. All right, let's get out of here. I don't think I can do much more, right? I know this is cases. Oh, these are for later, so. What are my objectives? Oh yeah, the nursing home museum. Where was that? <laughs> Uh, museum, museum, it was in the second floor. I almost forgot about that. It should be right here. Why is it so dark in here?
Nice. Is that it? Trash hotel rooms and ruined pools. Cards go wild for all of us are right now. Tour sounds about right. Long Beach, California, huh? <laughs> Dead Bob Balder. Oh my god, Balder. Fat Bob, huh? Okay. All right, what's this? Uh, oh, that's not so. <laughs> bitch, you're gonna scare me. This is the one, but it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. <sighs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do her. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. What the we fuck? One scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anga's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. You're gonna make me do it, huh? Dude, she looks dead as fuck. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Hmm. Canceled. Was it cancelled? Started appearing. It was too late. What do you mean? Out of her own case. She's talking to me. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. All right, I'm going remorse. remorse now. She is a young girl in love. Her broken role to exist. The shadows to come alive. A gift. And on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Thomas Zane. I was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. You're just repeating yourself right now. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep. <coughs> Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old friend. <sighs> Bless me. Maybe Tom was taken. Taken, huh? Anger's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Sent in her Cut bathroom? Short. She screamed. And oh, folks. Yeah, her bathroom. The Angus remorse record is in Cynthia's room, in her bathtub. Jesus Christ! What crazy shit! All right, where do I put all these? 
Red bird goes there. A bathtub, a pond, a lake. There's a theme here. Yeah, water. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. All right. And with that, we're going to call that a video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter slash X. Yeah, see if you can me toys and uh, I am out. Things are uh, getting interesting to say the least. See you guys in the next one.